Hello everyone, I'm Fanboy87 and welcome to this week's week 5 I believe, week 5's NFL predictions. And well thankfully week 4's predictions went a lot better than week 3's. Week 3's were pretty humiliating. But my week 4 predictions, they weren't bad, they weren't real good either, but you know what? I can live with that. I can live with the predictions I had. But we're looking alright all right so, so far. far. Now first off, I wanted to give a shout out to Golden Apple Gaming, who is who I am doing predictions with as this season goes on. And he's not he is a pretty good predictor, man. He is pretty on with some of his picks. So we're gonna see how this goes, and we're gonna do our NFL predictions. So first off, God damn it. Let me just go to my NFL pick'em thing. What the fuck happened? What happened? Okay. So, the first thing we're going to discuss is our week four picks. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine. We had nine picks correct. I need to give it incorrect. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Only six wrong. So, nine and six. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I was not mad about this week. This week was pretty decent. A lot better than the humiliation that was week three. Uh, man, the Colts are in trouble. What even happened to the Patriots? That's my question. It's like they didn't give a shit about that game. Like, they didn't give a shit, a single fuck, about that game. What, were they all on drugs? Were they all... Well, I know their quarterback situation was kind of screwed, but still. It's the Bills with Rex Ryan at the helm. Like, you gotta be kidding me. That's their... Uh... Anyways. So we're gonna rock with the Week 5 NFL predictions. So, starting off this week... We have the Cardinals at the San Francisco 49ers. I'm really sorry, Navarro Bowen. You did not deserve this. I'm sorry that for the Niners, man. They have just had crap fest on top of crap fest with a side order of just why, to say the least. But... I think this game, they're going to fight for their lost comrade. And if you've heard the dumb reports, uh, they're saying that Stanton is looking bad and that they're considering playing Carson Palmer with a concussion. Are you serious? Arians, I like you, man. You're a great coach, but this can't be your decision. You're seriously considering playing Palmer on a concussion protocol. SCP continue to breach. Thank you. Left your channel. <laughs> Shit. And there went my team speak. Fuck. <laughs> it's not even what this video is about. Anyways. Uh, but I'm going to actually roll with the San Francisco 49ers just because this quarterback situation is so screwed. And I think the Niners are due for a win. I think they'll get one this week, this Thursday against the Cardinals. It's in San, Fr San Francisco. I think the Niners are going to do it. I think they can win it with Gabbert. I just don't think the Cardinals have the firepower to match right now with their quarterback situation and that Chris Johnson's on injured reserve. Not a good situation for him. Okay, so the start off Sunday night football. Sunday night football. We're fucking up already, guys. We are fucking up. But it doesn't matter. Because we are getting into this next game right here. Tennessee at Miami. Oh. Oh. No. These are two probably the worst teams in the league. But you know what? I'm going to rock with Tennessee in this one. I think that Marcus and the Titans can do it. I think the one game the Dolphins won was against a really weak 
a really weak um, freaking Cleveland Browns team. A Browns team that's just been awful. The Titans actually won against a half-decent Lions team. A mediocre half-decent Lions team. But, yeah, I'm going to pick the Titans in this one. I know it's kind of crazy, but you know what? This is kind of a throw-up-in-the-air game. Jets at the Steelers. I like picking upsets, but this is not going to be my upset. I think Pittsburgh's on a roll after that huge win against the Kansas City Chiefs. And I think the Jets are in a bit of trouble right now. And with Decker not in the mix, not good for him. And Revis is looking old. Yeah. Next game, we have Colts hosting the Bears. Uh, my dad argued with me on this saying the Bears were going to do... I'm sorry. Whether it's Hoyer or Cutler, I just don't see it happening. Colts will win it. They need a win. They're in desperate situation right now. I think the Colts have it. I think they will win it. And yeah. Texans at the Vikings. Again, man. I am sorry for J.J. Watt. He's debatably my favorite player in the NFL right now. I've loved J.J. Watt ever since he went to University of Wisconsin. Ever since before that even. I love his family. I love everything about it. No homo. But I think... That the Vikings are just on a fucking roll right now. I think they got a great defense. I think that Bradford, as much as I dislike the guy, he is doing well with the Vikings. I think he's with a good team. Kind of sad to see Teddy not being even mentioned here, but the Vikings are a great team. And I can't take that away from him. I like the Vikings in this game. Eagles at the Lions. Ugh. I mean, come on. Let's be realistic. The Eagles have had a week off. The Lions just came back from a hideous loss to the Chicago Bears. I'm picking the Eagles. 100%. I'm picking the Eagles. Ravens hosting the Redskins. Dang, Ravens. That was a good game against the freaking Raiders. The Raiders are a great team this year, as I knew, as we knew they would be. And the Ravens took it hard against the against the dang <laughs> against the bloody fucking Raiders, the black hole people. But Ravens will bounce back. They got a much better team. You got Mike Wallace, Steve Smith Sr. looked amazing last week despite their loss. That guy is a future Hall of Famer, hands down. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe if you think that Steven, S Steve Smith Sr. is a future Hall of Famer. Alright, just like, like, and comment, and tell me that he's a future Hall of Famer. Like, comment, and subscribe if you think he is. I'm kidding, I don't want to promote myself getting subscribed, that's douchey. Moving on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What kind of an abomination of a game is this? If RG3 is playing, I might be a little more on the bandwagon to choose the Browns in an upset. But, oh god. They aren't even starting McCown. This is their third stringer. They trade him in with Pryor. As much as I like TP, man. Brady's coming back. Everything is just going wrong for the Browns. Oh, okay. Falcons at the Broncos. Huh. All right, guys. This is my upset of the week. And I'm quoting myself on this. I am picking the Atlanta Falcons to win against the Denver Broncos. And no, it's totally not because I dislike the Broncos. Totally not. Totally not. I think Simeons is playing great. And I think that the Broncos have a great team. But I think the Falcons are going to do something. I think they are surprising some teams right now. And yeah, they're known for being inconsistent. But I think they got something in them right now. And I'm going to call that upset. I'm going to call that as my upset of the week. Raiders hosting the, the Chargers. Oh man, Chargers. You just know how to lose. And that's been a problem for you guys for years now. 
You just know how to lose. Like, it's, you're just good enough to lose. And I'm sorry for you guys. You guys have a great team. It's just, ah! I mean, oh man. I'm sorry, you guys. I have to pick the Raiders in this one just because the Raiders are the realistic team to win here. Now, now we're talking. This is going to be a fantastic game. I mean, the Falcons-Broncos is going to be a fantastic game, I think. But this is a good one here. Bengals are a decent team. Cowboys are proven to be a good team. But I like Dallas in this situation. I like Dallas in this situation. I think they will win it for everybody. And... And I gotta tell you, Dallas is looking good. Dak Prescott is looking good. I like Dallas in this situation. And I think they will win it. Bills at the Rams. Uh, again, two inconsistent teams. The Rams are kind of on a roll right now. I'm serious. They are on a roll right now. They're winning games. They're proving people wrong. They are doing good. And the Bills are coming into town off a hot win again in New England, in Foxborough. But you know what? I'm going to pick the Rams. I'm going to go... 16-13, Rams winning. What do you say? Anyone agree with me? No? Well, fuck you guys. I'm kidding. And then finally, we have my team. Yes, the Green Bay Packers hosting the New York Giants, a.k.a. the New York Jersey Shore, a.k.a. the New York fuck you guys, a.k.a. the New York Madagascar cast. I don't even know. I don't even know what any of that means. But... But hey, who do you think I'm going to pick? I think Green Bay is the likely candidate here to win this game. I like Green Bay in this situation. And then finally we have the Monday night game between the two. Two of the four inconsistent kings of the NFL. Uh, I'm sorry, Jameis. I'm sorry. But fuck you, Cam. I'm picking the Bucks. Oh, God. I'm going to get hate for this one. But sorry. I like Jameis Winston better than Cam Newton. And I think they've got a very even receiving core. And I think their defenses are somewhat even. Though the Bronx... The, the Panthers' D is better. But they don't have a secondary. And I think the Bucks are going to take advantage of that awful secondary. So yeah, that's how I see things going for, for all that. And those are my predictions, guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you think you're, is going to win these upcoming games. And as always, I'm Fumboy 87 Also, I probably have to leave... Who fucking had to say SCP containment breach in the private chat, damn it? Anyways, I'm Femboy D7, signing out. Peace.